out front here, kind of leave it alone. One of the reasons that Minnetonka Public Schools has been as successful as they've been with technology, technology use, so on, uh, is that their approach has been very planful, it's been thoughtful, and it's had a strong professional development, professional support component to it. iPads are being used in a variety of ways in the elementary schools. One of the pieces that they're trying to really work on this year is getting away from just the drill and practice apps and using it more in a space of show what you know. So they're giving students apps that are more geared towards what we call like whiteboard space and also giving teachers a great view of that learner. If the length here was four, iPads are predominantly always where they take their notes. So every day they have a, the iPad in their notes section, they open it up, take notes on the iPad, and um, sometimes we do homework checks, sometimes we do quizzes, so then they're opening those up, accessing those, and from there, what I love about it, it instantly is accessible to see how they did. When I give them a formative assessment, normally I would give it on paper pencil, take it home, try and grade it as quickly as I can, bring it back the next day, teach them a new topic, and say, okay, I gotta try and talk to these five kids who totally didn't get it and do that sometime during work time. Hopefully I have time to do that the next day. Now what I have them doing is, it's grading it automatically on Skyward or Schoology. I'm getting the results on my iPad as I'm walking around before everybody's even done with it. I'm correcting certain kids like, hey, I saw they got one out of five right. Here's what I noticed you're doing wrong. And I'm able to fix it before they even do their homework that night instead of you know, days afterwards, which is just amazing to me. I've never been able to do that before. Well, usually when you think about using the iPad in a classroom, you don't think about using it in the music classroom, but we found some interesting ways to use it so that the students can benefit from having their iPad well in a music classroom. One of the things that we're doing is we've digitized all of our warm-ups in my class. Um, instead of having the students using paper, they're actually now using the warm-ups on PDFs using Notability to display them. What we found is that students will mark their music more often when they're using the iPad. In the middle school especially, we're trying to train kids to stay organized and on top of their work. Schoology is our learning management system. They have an assignments tab that keeps track of all of their upcoming. Um, they can look at the integration of their calendar and look at it there as well. But students are really using that as a tool to say, what is my teacher assigned? The assignment is usually linked to it. They know when it was assigned, when, it, when the deadline is, and how to turn it in. So students that are absent or students that forgot what we did in class and forgot to write it down, they can go into Schoology so quickly and easily, click on the day and find out what they missed. So the document cycle in Schoology is the kids have got it down. They go to Schoology, open up a folder for today, they pull out their docs that they need, put them into Notability, write on them, take pictures, put that in, draw pictures, type, whatever they want to do to create their docs. Then they just open in and export to Schoology in a Dropbox. So the student learning is impacted by that immediate feedback because they don't have to wait for you know a week for feedback in learning that they did something wrong. They're able to take that feedback and change something and keep moving with the process. So as uh, teachers are starting to use more technology tools in their classroom, one of the big conversations that's coming up with students is that digital citizen piece and how students can be a good digital citizen. So we want to make sure that as we're using this technology, we're making sure that the, the students are using it appropriately. I'm going to use real coins and you can use our symbols. Are you ready? Smartboard's an instructional tool that we've had for many years and it continually, it's, it's a great tool because I find more ways to use it in my teaching. We talk about learning using all the senses. They're able to hear the, hear the lesson, they're seeing things, they're able to come up and manipulate things. So it's just, it's a great tool. We no longer have to stand at the front of the classroom to direct our class. Uh, the sound field solution allows you to move throughout the classroom, but also using tools like iPads and Splashtop allow us to still integrate with the, the smart board. We're able to monitor our classrooms by moving about the classroom and using proximity to talk to the students. We wanted to uh, make sure that the kids understood what computer code was or programming language, um, but uh, with a purpose. The Raspberry Pi is an inexpensive computer. It uses a, uh, an, an operating system um, called Raspbian, or it's a, a form of Linux. So these students are, are programming their uh, Raspberry Pi motherboards. They are 
uh, working with a 3D printer over here at the high school to create designs and actually print um, the plastic casing uh, that will house the motherboards. So the Minnetonka app is meant to be a one-stop shop for users. So it allows parents to be able to access calendar features again for their specified schools that they have uh, selected. And um, it also has access for parents and uh, students for Skyward access and Schoology uh, links on there for homework and uh, activities that are posted on Schoology. We've seen steady growth in the frequencies of A's and B's as students have used this technology to, to move forward. We've also seen our struggling students uh, adapt and, and have much more positive outcomes, we believe, because of the technology access that they've had. Uh, there are incredible teachers in this district and incredible support staff that bring those pieces together. The technology tools provided are only as good as the staff development that supports it. In Minnetonka, we know that differentiated instruction spread out over the school year embedded into teaching is most effective. Every teacher in our iPad project receives four half days of training. All new teachers get basic introductory training on all of our systems each August. Every year we host a technology visit which allows our teachers to share what they have learned, which is of course the deepest form of learning. We're thankful for the opportunity to continue this work here in Minnetonka. We are extremely excited about what the future holds for our students. It's making my, my teaching more purposeful and more helpful to the kids.